Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alan, and today we are doing a little, little, little bit, little, 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 a little bit of a vlog on our off season and what we've been doing. I want to give you guys an update because this is the first vlog of the year. Now you might be wondering, Alan, this is a vlog while you on your sim. Well, I want to show you guys what I've been doing uh, in off season. Um, I've been doing comp a few competitions online. Uh, I've been competing in Drift Corner Grand Prix. Um, which is um, a European based league, I suppose, and the uh, Virtual League Championship, which is more of a, a worldwide league. Um, so, yeah, we've been doing uh, quite a few competitions there. Uh, we had a pretty solid result in um, Drift Corner Grand Prix. We finished fifth overall. Uh, we had a couple of wins. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the full season because I was in Dubai with Pro Drift and there was that Osport show with the AS14. Um, so, we did pretty okay in that. Uh, and then in Virtual Drift Championship, been competing in that the season and that is still ongoing and uh yeah we've done pretty solid we're doing pretty well in that right now we're leading that championship and uh we've gotten a win and two second places uh and one top 16 finish so uh pretty happy with our results so far in that series and we're heading into our, our final uh, final few events uh in the next couple couple of weeks um with the s14 of course we've been to auto sport show uh, with that, you we, you guys might have seen some pictures of that there, and uh, the body panel stuff on it looking pretty solid. Uh, no, there's no body panels on it, but I'll give I'll show you guys a bit of an update on what that looks um, in a bit later on in this video. But for now, I just want to show you show you a bit of drifting, show you what I'm kind of doing, and uh, then we'll head outside and we'll check up this 14, uh, meet Richie, and of course my dad. Some of you guys probably know my dad already. Uh, but yeah, we'll be meet Richie. He'll be our new team manager for this year, so that's awesome. And he's been doing a lot of fabrication work on the car, so he's been a great help to the team. And uh, I've open, I've welcomed him with opening arms. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now we're on the sim. Uh, now we're actually driving on the sim. <laughs> um, something I've been kind of working on uh, is finishing off the uh, Oman International Drift Circuits uh, that's been ran this year in Oman. Um, as you can see, we're actually in the pit spot this. Uh, I think Peter was parked in, Peter Vizic, you know, so you can see we have all the containers and stuff like that, I've uh, been kind of working on it, uh, on and off, um, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy, so I want to show you guys a bit of drifting, um, something I've been kind of doing, Maybe I might go on some other layouts too, some of the VDC layouts I've been competing on with this S14 of mine, um, yeah, so Obviously, this was the layout that was used for the final round of the Oman International Drift Championship. Uh, you guys might have seen a video on this already uh, on my social stuff, so on my uh, Facebook and my YouTube. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have been watching my live streams, uh, there's some links down below to where you can watch them. I have a Twitch account uh, on my YouTube as well and on my Facebook. Um, which is running wide here, but... You can watch uh, those links and um, oh, sorry, just pay attention to those links and sometimes I might post up on my Instagram or on my Facebook uh, when I'm going live and uh, yeah, you guys can hop in and either watch some drifting or uh, some other content or some other games, it might be shooting games or something, I don't know, we'll just see, uh, decide what I'm going to do. So obviously I've been doing a lot of this stuff, this has been helping a lot for me getting ready for the season, uh, so we're hoping that... Well, I'm hoping that uh, I can just hop straight into the car and get back onto the level that uh, I've been competing at here in the game. And also get back at the level that I was at the final events of last year. Um, so th this is the reasoning for why I've been doing a lot of these competitions. Uh, obviously I do enjoy it and I, I, I do believe that there is a future in uh, eSports and eDrift as well. Um, but it's just getting to that level of course of, of, of the... Uh, just trying to get to the level of that competition is obviously going to take some time. Alright, so we're now on Road Atlanta. Uh, the last track was Oman. That was the Oman Circus that I've been working on. Try to get those really soon for you guys so you guys can drive on up too. I know that some people some people have been asking about for them. Uh, just been a bit lazy with them. <laughs> so we're now on the Road Atlanta Circuit. Um, this was the first round of the Virtual Drift Championship. I freaking love this track. I think it's probably at least my favourite FD track. Um, Irwindale comes in close second. Oh, Long Beach is probably my favourite FD track. Obviously, I've never competed in any of those tracks. But we're on the FD layout of Road Atlanta. Well, well the VDC layout, or uh, VDC version, which is basically the uh, FD version as well. And um, this is the first round. This was the first round of the Virtual Drift Championship, and we got the win at this one. And... Uh, 
Yeah, this track is uh, quite enjoy this track. But foot to pedal, full throttle across into the final corner, and yeah, <laughs> all the way up the hill we go. Alright, so we'll do another run here. We're just going to roll through the line here, doing about 50 kilometers already. Obviously, using sequential, so don't need to use the uh, clutch. Well, have it set that way. And uh, go back up the hill again, dropping a wheel into the dirt. Wasn't a great run there, but. So yeah, so you guys can check out my live streams and uh, you'll be able to see all the uh, real life or <laughs> the live stuff that I've been doing. I've uh, been handling a lot. I've been actually playing a small bit of Dirt Rally too. I need to get back into that game, so I might live stream that again soon. Um, but um, that's it for the sim stuff. Of course, the Project Academy in the UAE have been doing some um, stuff with simulators and uh, we did some stuff over there as well. So... That's it for the sim stuff. Let's head outside and uh, yeah, let's check out what the S14 currently looks like. Hello, Marco. Hello, Marco. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, look in the hand. Nice, nice. Very nice of you, Marco. Thank, thanks, Marco. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Marco. White cat. Hey, meow. Yeah, so we have a mini zoo here. I have the cat can go inside. Or Sorry. And then we've got Bella. Hello Bella. Oh Jess. <laughs> Hello Bella. Aren't you a good girl? Yes, you're very good. Hop up. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so you might hear the music already. But um, we've been working away on the car over the winter. Uh, I haven't been really doing so much. My dad and my good buddy Richie, uh, who's been doing a lot of fabrication work on the car recently, has been uh, have been flat out working on it. Um, so yeah, it's <laughs> See, the thing is, the car is kind of a UK spec car, so it's quite rusty. And uh, the more Richie cut off it, the more he realised, the more he had to cut off it. And um, it's now starting to come back together again. Uh, probably a little bit worse than what we expected, but it now means we have a second uh, chassis. So we actually have three S14s. There's this one here. Uh, this S14 we picked up uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, that was originally going to be 2018 Shell. Uh, we didn't do that. Uh, we ran the previous car, and um, we have another one on inside, but that's caged already on its side, and that's going to be probably our 2019 car. Um, and then we have, sorry, 2020 car, and then we have this car here, uh, which, which we ran the last two seasons, 2015, 2018, and we'll be running it again this year, 2019. And that's probably end up being our demo car, or spare car, or maybe an overseas car. We'll see uh, eventually. We'll figure out that out later. Anyway, enough of the wambling on. Um, but I'm going to go inside and show you the cars. The guys are playing music and stuff. Um, hopefully, I don't get coppers on this. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the progress so far. And um, you meet Richie. Richie, interesting character. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's, let's have a look inside. Um. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> well, I'm just doing a, a quick uh, season update on the car. Um, can we turn this music off? Like, I thought I turned it off already. Right, okay. It's absolutely terrible taste of music you two have. So, obviously, that's uh, Richie. Richie's joining us this year. Hello, Richie. How are you doing? Not too bad. Richie's. Obviously, you know this guy, uh, Bumblebee Kieran, or my dad. Also known as the Drift Judge. So yep, that is the S14 currently. It's looking a little uh, looking a little bare at the moment. Um, I suppose uh, Richie has been doing an absolute shit ton of uh, shit ton of welding here on the bottom quarter and uh, is looking really cleaned up now. Um, it was how bad was it, Richie? It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. It was I mean, it was a small bit. Uh, on all four corners, that is like. Well, just a little bit. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like, my. Do you know, my foot was probably, I'd say, a season away from destroying itself. Yeah, like, because yeah. if a wheel came in there, I probably would have been uh, footless. Basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. Just so. Don't look at this side, yeah. Just don't look at that side. I'll come over there and have a look at it there oh, in okay. a second. So, basically, this corner here, um, there was a hole. Like, okay, there's a hole for where the steering goes in, but there's also another hole for the wiring loom, the OEM wiring loom. That was still there, 
but it was just a bit, a bit soft and um, so Richie did a, a nice job cleaning it all up obviously it's all been it's all been um, what's this stuff called again sealant on the seat there we go there we go see that's 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 why I don't work in cars so that's all been cleaned up now that's nice and strong we have a nice jacking point underneath here where this uh, lovely concrete block is not holding the car whatsoever and then we've done the same on the uh, passenger side over oh, well uh, Richie has done the same uh, my dad has been cutting all the bits and pieces for Richie to weld in um, wrong huh? <laughs> right. wrong he's been doing it wrong is he <laughs> a good welder will be able to fill the gaps that's what I said Okay, um, well, you see, no see we see it. We've got two tree bottles, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that corner's been done, the other corner's been done. Uh, there's small bits of pieces to do here. I think uh, we're filling in, you're filling, you're making something to fill in the, the this big hole yeah, thing. Yeah, uh, um, this is the that you didn't uh, tie no, down. No, okay, we'll ignore that. This is the you didn't tie down correctly. That uh, was no, no, that was, was it was held on by cable ties and, and you, were, oh, you were speeding, by the way, so that's why. Um, yes, we've cut the ass off the car completely. Uh, that's going to get our new rear tube set up. As we walk over here to... Not the water inside the pit. This place is an absolute mess at the moment, but I suppose that's what happens when you have a small shed. Uh, this is what Richie's been working on uh, right now. So I'd say... Actually, when this corner is finished, that's uh, that's all the rust repair completed, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's just doing a rear tube set up, and then it's just about painting it up, and um, yeah, we're just making up some panels for inside there, so yeah. the smoke doesn't come in. Yeah, yeah, smoke doesn't come in. We see that all that up. Um, yeah. So that's what Richie's working on at the moment, and uh, yeah, he's now starting to welding, and I'm going to get blinded, so I'm going to walk away. Um, yeah. So that is our little update. Uh, that's fabrication wise um, let's not talk about the engine oh, yeah the engine okay maybe I will talk about it I won't talk about it inside here because it's a very uh, sad story it's quite a sad story um, it's kind of it's kind of crazy right but maybe how, how many months ago January wasn't it started January uh, this thing was all together it looked pretty good so we have a just behind my dad's head there we have a clamshell on top of our other s14 shell that we have we have a clamshell, so that's going to completely cover from just behind where the uh, Proto sticker is there on the window, uh, all the way to the back of the car, and then everything else is fiberglass back there. And then we have our obviously our Origin Labo Aero that we have on the rear quarter panel. Um, our engine, I'll talk about the engine there in a second, but basically it is as of right now it's junk, uh, which sucks. So we have to now go off and find another 2J to put into it. Uh, we still have our head and stuff, so that's okay. Fortunately, we caught it now instead of later when everything would have been destroyed. But it needs to be completely machined. We just don't have the budget or um, the time. The time, basically, it's more, more or less the time right now to get that fixed. So, um, yeah, so that's a quick little update on the car. Um, yeah, it's, we're probably... I know I see some guys at the moment that are finishing their cars off already and they're already uh, doing practices and stuff. But we don't need to do any practice days. Uh, I've been doing all my practice on the simulators as you've probably seen already so hopefully by the time we go to round one this thing will be sorted, will be mint, which it will be and uh, our first one up will be uh, 90.1 I think, maybe, hopefully <laughs> So uh, that's with Ed, that's Richie, Richie will be in the vlogs more this year hopefully uh, as long as he doesn't get sick of our antics and decides to get rid of, uh, fire me, well no, we fire himself uh, Richie will be team managing uh, us, so team the team manager yeah so um, there's going to be a, a huge shortage of coffee beans this year um, so if the supply runs dry it's because of Richie he's already gone through four jars today and um, <laughs> four jars yeah yeah so yep that's it for now and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, I'll try and bring a lot more uh, soon and um, yeah, catch you guys very very soon. Uh, season's gonna start very quickly, so uh, yeah, we've gotta get uh, a lot of things done, and uh, we're on the right track at the moment. So uh, yeah, catch you guys later.